this video, we're gonna take a look at my surf fishing cart two years later. I get a lot of people who watch my video about the Fishing Girl Adventure surf fishing cart. And right when I got that cart, I did a video kind of showing you all of the different aspects. I'm gonna show you today all of the wear and tear that I've had on it, all the upgrades that I've had to make to it, the different maintenance that we've had to do, what's held up good, what's not held up so good, and what we've had to replace. All of those things I'm gonna cover in this video, so keep watching. I just got done running a charter with a family. They had so much fun. We were pulling in constant pompano the whole time. Really steady bite, a lot of fun. They learned a lot, so it might be a little dirty. Uh, obviously, I've got to take it home and get everything washed off. If you watch any of my videos, you've seen how I have it like hooked up in the morning. Usually have it pretty well loaded down. I usually have five or six rods with me and my sand flea rake. And we have bait. We have a bucket for the fish. I've got my cooler. I've got my backpack. I've got my tackle bag. I've got like tons of stuff. This cart is amazing to be able to carry all this stuff. Let's take a closer look at the cart and all of the different things that have gone on with it in the last few years. So the first thing I want to note is that I've had to wash the liner a couple of times. It's pretty dirty on spots where it touches the metal all the time, but and it's faded. That's like just normal wear and tear on the liner itself. Now that it's been a few years, you can see how the tires have faded. I honestly don't remember which ones came with my cart and which ones we bought. They've never popped. They've never, we've never had to replace them. I just had to pump them up. And honestly, I've, I've only had to pump them up like maybe once every couple months. And uh, that's really, maybe every once in every six months, but it's really not too often. The tires hold up pretty well. And we're out here quite a bit. Some weeks I'm out here four or five times. Uh, I will say this is worn off just because we've had to measure so many fish down in this section here. So it never had measuring here at the 15 mark, which I really wish they did, but the 12 and the 13 you can barely see anymore. That would be nice if I could replace that. Here's what we upgraded, and this is my favorite thing that we upgraded, is this right here. This little extender piece I got off of Amazon for about $14, Angler Fish and Mate. They make this little extender. I'm just standing up straight and I'm holding on to this, this handle right here. So before it was down here. So that makes a huge difference when you're pushing this thing, especially over long distances, especially on soft sand like this, when you don't have to lean over really far to push, but you can just push it at your own height right about here. That's been awesome. Best $14 I've spent on this cart. This is the RoboCup. Got that off of Amazon, I think for 30 bucks. And that's just on this little uh, extender piece that I got from Surf Fishing Solutions, Brian Curlett up in Jacksonville. He sells these. I think he gave me a few. So if you're watching this, Brian, thanks again for all the help that you gave me on this cart. You can see that it's held up pretty well, but I, he was selling these for six. They might be more now. These little plastic pieces you can see are breaking here, almost on all of, well, yeah, on all of them. So that's something that I could replace. It's not been too big of an issue, so I haven't really replaced them yet. You can see wear and tear just from all the use. I mean, this thing has been in and out of my car, in and out of the garage. This is probably from putting it on the pavement like holding it up to to rinse it off every single time that I use it. This is still the same uh, floor that Brian made for me too. And that's been holding up awesome. I don't even know what kind of material that is, but it's been great. Never had a problem with it. In the front of the cart, I had TikTok watching my uh, catches this morning before my charter started, but I used my, my bait bucket here. To, to hold Sputniks. I know this isn't right, guys. And then I put trash in it. But this bait bucket I've never had to replace. That has been totally fine. Works perfect for what I use it for. And this, you know, it has some scratch marks because I do cut some cut bait on it. But we rinse it off every time we use it. There's some uh, rust marks just from these towel holders. And I bought these towels. I love these towels. They came with the Caribbeaner, uh, Car Car Caribbeaner? however you say it. This one's going bad, but every towel came with its own, so I can replace that really easily. But I got those off of Amazon, I think for $16, and they got lots of different colors. I just bought these scissors recently. They're 
kitchen shears. They came in a two pack. These are pretty dirty today from cutting up fish. And I think we have a fish on the line. I'm gonna be putting this back on my neck for a second. Oh yeah, we still got a fish. Catching a bunch of these little pompano. He's not a baby at least. He's like in his rebellious teenage years maybe. Swam away from mommy and daddy and now he's on a hook. Got one of my rods pulled in. We had a baby pompano on there. I, I love this cart because I can put my rods across here when I'm rebaiting or things. And as you can see, my reel is still out of the sand. I know a lot of people will put them up in the pole holders like that while they're rebaiting, but then you're risking your line getting wrapped around the top of your rod and then you go to cast and you have to untangle all that. Whereas if you had just put it over the cart like this, then it's nothing's getting tangled on the top of the rod here. It's gonna just come down while you're rebaiting. I got tons of videos you can see me doing that. But we're gonna put this right in this front pole holder here. Nothing's getting tangled on the top of the rod here. It's gonna just come down while you're rebaiting. I'm just gonna take my casting rod real quick and throw it a couple times because that many birds that tells me there's bait running. Oh, I feel like I have something. Oh, I've got my line. All right, well, I gotta bring that in. I was tangled in this line because it's totally slack. So we may have a fish on here. Oh, this ran down the beach. You see it? <laughs> this ran down the beach. He ran all the way to shore. He beached himself. What the heck? Oh, that's a jack. Man, that's a good fish. He's heavy. Right, now here we are all packed up. I'm going to be pushing it so you can see. I don't have to bend over. I mean, I'm not bending over at all. I'm just pushing it. And you can see two years later, we've had some problem with some squeaks, but that's not too bad. There's ways that you can fix squeaks if you have a squeaky cart. Um, leave it in the comments if you fixed a squeaky cart and what you fixed it with. All right, coming up the hill here. This makes it a lot easier having that extender. I've got all the rods out. I put everything down in here. I have a very specific way that all of this has to go in the car for it to fit. This is the trick here. Oh, so all those sinkers are in the front of the cart now. That's heavy. My cooler pushes it up to the back of the seat. Yeah, nobody helps me pack because they know I have to put it in here a certain way. All right, and now I'm gonna put the rods in here. It's a little bit of a chore to get all of that equipment into a SUV. Um, I've got a RAV4, so this is what it looks like when you get it all in there. So I've got the cart, I've got rods on top, I've got my sand spikes next to it, I've got rods on top of those, I've got my cooler, my tackle bag. All of this is holding the uh, cart in place so it doesn't jostle around while I'm driving. That's how I get it all in there. Just to wrap this video up, I just wanted to let you know this cart has been awesome. It has held up really well. If you have one of these fishing carts, let me know what you think about your cart, some of the pros and cons that you found. I think for two years, I've definitely gotten uh, the money's worth out of it for sure. We did have a sponsor who donated the money for this cart. Got me going at a time where I really needed the extra funds. We always have things like that with Fishing Girl. If there's people who want to sponsor what we're doing, a lot of future things that we want to do, we're going to need a lot of help. So reach out to me, email me at fishinggirlfl at gmail.com. You can contact us through our website if you want, fishing-girl.com. But thanks so much for watching. Tight lines, God bless.